Hey everybody, welcome back. So today's the 20th, and when I was a kid, I always heard the phrase, ignorance is bliss, and I didn't always understand what that meant, and I didn't always, wasn't sure of what to think about it. And now that I'm older, I've been thinking more about that saying. So ignorance is the lack of knowledge or not knowing something. And for me, I find knowledge to be very helpful. I think this is how people work as a community, is you're knowledgeable. Um, but a similar saying to ignorance is bliss is what you don't know won't hurt you. And on some aspects I can agree with this, but then on most, I'm going to talk about the no, the, the side that I disagree with. If you don't know what an STI is and then you get it, that's important to know. Not knowing what an STI is might hurt you in the future. And I don't know, it's just, sometimes I just, I don't know, I don't, I don't like always get where these sayings come from. And I, I probably haven't looked enough into these sayings yet to truly know the meaning of it. So I should probably go research that more. I'm a little bit ignorant on that, but I'm trying my best. <laughs> And, I don't know, I, I, I find it good to be aware of what you're doing in life, and I think it's good to be aware of what's around you. So, being aware of what's happening in your community, being aware of politics, being aware of diseases or anything that could be, that could happen to you. Like, if you didn't know what depression was, or if you didn't know what any mental disabilities were, that might hurt you in the future. And I think it's important to make sure that you are as educated as you can be. And something that I truly like believe in, at least at this point in my life, is I believe that if you ever get a chance to be ed educated, you should always take it. Um, but moving away from that subject, um, I'm gonna be talking about how I was watching, so in between classes I was kind of bored so I went to YouTube and I, I'm i subscribed to Arden Cho and she's an actress and I really enjoy a lot of the talks she does and she was talking to, she did, she did a coffee talk with Lance Lim, I think that's his name, but his name is Lance and they were just talking about actor life and their experience with it, especially as Asian Americans and that is also another topic for a different day, but I don't know. I just think if you are looking for an interesting talk to listen to, you should definitely go check her out because I think she says a lot of important things about life and I don't know. She's just interesting and I enjoy the way she talks and presents herself. Um, but let's just talk about my day for a second. Um, this morning I woke up at 5 and I had cheer practice and actually today went pretty well. Today went pretty good. Um, we didn't do stunts today but we did do, we learned new cheers for basketball season and they were actually very simple. I, I sometimes can struggle with learning cheers and memorizing them and I probably should go over them over and over to make sure that they're drilled into my head but I was surprised at how easy it was. Um, after after practice I had classes and since I'm taking general education it's not that hard honestly. I expected my classes to be much more difficult and much more challenging and it's not that they're not challenging it's just everything is we're still working up to getting more homework and we're still working up to learning about new stuff instead of just reviewing old things and but like it's not that I I don't know <laughs> pretty much my classes they are time consuming but not impossible to do which is I'm very thankful for um, also later today I have to do work and um, I may go do cheerleading again tonight but that's really all that I have for you guys today. Uh, hopefully I'll have maybe another subject for you guys tomorrow or I will just talk about life or talk about what's just going on. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope
hope you have a really good day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.